Good morning. It's Friday, May 27th, 2022. My name is Terry Morgan. We are here to practice Wudang Qigong. This morning we have the advanced sets 10 through 18. And what we actually are going to do is two sets. Um, one is uh, shaking the tail feathers and the other is coiling the snake. I have a couple of things that we're going to work on, particularly with those exercises, as well as doing some additional repetitions. One thing I want to talk about real quick, and I want to include in this class, two things. Okay, first one, the short one, is that I have now a forum set up on my website, wudong.com. Um, on a menu, it says forums, and you're welcome to use the contact form to email me and request access for that. It's uh, visible to everybody. It will, will include your questions, uh, some things that I've collected over the years. So the idea is that it's question answer and hopefully maybe some discussion about some of the things that I'm teaching as well as some of the things that you may have some additional questions about. All right, so and if I sound a little bit funny, I have a, a issue with the tooth back up in here. So, <laughs> eh, it, it, it does affect the way that I speak a little bit. So I've got a little bit of a lisp I can't do anything. I, I really can't do anything about it. It's kind of swollen. It'll be all right in a day or two. Um, so, this is from the Wudang Qigong book that we published back in 1998-99. Uh, this was uh, Professor Liu's original book. that he had written in Chinese and published in China. Um, and it that's, that is what it says, Wudang Qigong. Um, so he adapted it. I translated it. He adapted this. I translated it. We published this. And one of the... One of the things that I have talked about more than once is the difference between, and, and that's why we set up the Wudang Research Association in the first place, the difference, <clears throat> excuse me, the difference between what's available to someone who can read Chinese and what's available to someone who can't. If you don't read Chinese, you're not going to read that. They're, that that book is totally inaccessible, right? You have to be able to read the language in order to understand, in order to begin to understand what's in that book. Even if you do understand the language, there is no 100% guarantee that you are going to understand what he's talking about. That was one of the things that I ran into when I was working on the translation. That many common words have a special meaning in our practice. That we pay attention to certain things in a different way. So the idea of strength, and I talked about this yesterday in the context of the three mistakes using awkward strength. That's the excessive kind of strength. That, and that, that's some bad attitude, but you understand my idea. That excessive, I'm going to really do this. No, don't, don't. It, it, it cuts off the connection through the body for the energy that we want to circulate that gives us the strength that we actually want. All right, and the reason that I'm talking about this is 
as I was looking through and, and doing my own review, which I did, I look at my notes, I look at, I do, I look at a lot of things. All right, um, the classics say, shaking the tail feathers should not be overt. Overt displays inhibit ability. Send out the palms without excessive force. Excessive force is certainly not refined. And then there is the idea that during practice, the thoughts must be concentrated. When distracting thoughts emerge, repeat the eight methods. In this case, we may do something else, but this is one opportunity, right? So I'm distracted by this, I'm distracted by that, and when the mind is calm, the spirit is tranquil. When the spirit is tranquil, the mind is set at ease. When the mind is set at ease, it is full and still. Just that progression. And I will tell you that the four characters that represent all of that English have a resonance in the way that, that it, the, it's poetry. It's poetry. And that skill in the language opens up a host of things that are not nearly as accessible because English doesn't do that. I, I, I can do certain things with English, yeah, not this. So that understanding, first, that there are many opportunities for quieting the mind and stilling the spirit, quieting the heart. There are many things that we can do actively and passively. Okay? So actively doing something, let that thought go. Passively doing something, just opening. Whatever comes through, comes through. That ability, that skill in practice gives us that ability to not use awkward strength and to not be excessive in what we're doing. Uh, so, that's kind of the how. Now let's do the what. What are we going to practice this morning? Right? So, this how to practice. Relaxing the mind. Letting go of intrusive thoughts. Paying attention to that sense of openness and, for lack of a better way to say it, creativity. It's just, everything can, I am paying attention to everything that's here with me. I am not concerned with it so much as paying attention that it exists. It's there. These are my surroundings. This is where I am. Knowing, I know that, looking inside, as we move, today, we're going to pay attention to a couple of things in particular. As we open, right, and open here, the focus goes to the level in the center of the palm. 
as the hands come up, pay attention to the Renmai and the Dumai, connecting here at the Renjal. Renmai, return to lower Tantian, from the lower Tantian, up the back and down the front to the Renmai and the Dumai. Pay attention to that small heavenly circle as the palms come up. Lao Wong, connect at the Renmai, right here. Press down. As you press down, keep the back straight, turn the waist, pay attention to the Lao Wong and the Yung Chuan in the ball of the foot. Grip the floor a little bit. Pull up. Pull up as you press down, yes. Keep centered through the legs as you turn. And pay attention to what's going on in the lower tantian. As you breathe, pull in and up, right? Up through the back. As you exhale, down, down the front, return. Nice and easy. Not too much physical effort. Not too little. Feet about shoulder width apart. Relax the breath, relax the body, and breathe in. Palms up. Press down. Circle. Two circles. And press down. Return to center. Come to the other side. And breathe in. Breathe out. Extend the arm. Open the back. Open the low one in the center of the palm. Keep it open as you turn. Open the yung chuan as you sink. Connect through the lower tantian. Pull up through the bai hui, the crown of the head. and pull up through the Hui Yin at the base of the torso. Open the hip as you turn. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, open the back, pay attention to the palms, stay centered. Nice and easy. Deep breath. Two more. Pay attention to the lower tantian. Pay attention to the upper tantian. Pay attention to the middle hand again. And one more time.
turn the right, press down, center, and sink. Turn the center, palms up, press down on both sides, pull up through the crown of the head, raise the heels and lower. Stay there, breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. And breathe out. We're going to do this again. And with this repetition, the same ideas, the same focus, the facility with the particular movement, the facility with paying attention to a particular center gets stronger as we repeat it and when it's repeated in sequence all the better. It's fresher and we're ready to start again. And yes, that break was deliberate. As we pay attention to how a movement feels, our body physically needs just a minute to process that. We just had a minute. Let's do this again. Same set, same focus. Pay attention to the lao gong, pay attention to the yong chuan and the base of the foot. Pay attention to the lower tantian. As the hands come together, sink, connect through the rindral, remai and the dumai. Pay attention to collecting and releasing from the lower tantian. Feet about shoulder width apart, stand straight, pull up through the crown of the head. And breathe in, breathe in, sink, breathe in, open, pay attention to the lao gong, pay attention to the yung fan, press down, and turn, extend the arm, and sink, come back to center, breathe in, Breathe up. Breathe in. Breathe up. Breathe in. Breathe out. Pull up through the bi hoi. Crown the head. Pull up the queen base of the torso open the hip turn the waist extend through the arm press down and turn Put the body in natural alignment. Pay attention to the natural shape of the muscles and the bones in the arms. Open. Rest down. Turn. Open, center, breathe in, breathe up, breathe in, press down, 
and turn. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Press down. And turn. Breathe in. Breathe out. Two more. Pay attention to the Lao Bong. Pay attention to the Yung Kong. Pull up through the Bai Hui. Crown of the head. Return to the lower Tantian. Relax the breath. Breathe in. Breathe out. Last time. Press down and turn. On the center. Hands down on both sides. Pull up through the crown of the head. Raise the heels and lower. Stay there. Breathe in. Breathe out. And breathe in. And breathe out. Relax for a minute. All right. As we work on these sets, and hooray, 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 I may have fixed the computer problem because I'm not seeing the issue this morning. Yay! Um, the way that, you're going to back to class, the way that we practice and the extent to which we use the body can vary, right? Younger people, older people, what are we doing, right? What are we able to do? How much range of movement do I have today versus how much range of movement I had 30 years ago? I could do more. I really could. Um, and I really do still have an injury, so I, that's part of why I'm standing this way. <laughs> no weight on this leg, thanks. All right, we're going to do some more. It's good. It's, it's okay. It's okay. The point that I'm getting to is that as we pay attention, I'm going to show something here in a minute. As we pay attention to the internal workmanship, we have the opportunity to vary what we're doing externally so that we can do less of a movement and still gain the benefit, still have the internal work that we're trying to practice. Hang on. So, this exercise, shaking the tail feathers. We just did this, right? And I'm here. Come back to center. Other side. Right? We just did this. <clears throat> I could also, I'm, I'm going to do that same thing again, so I'm in the same, same spot. Okay? So, as we move, right? I'm here. Breathe in. Open. Sink. Press down. Turn the waist, come to center. Extend and come down on the other side, come back to center. All right? This is this is what we just did. We could do Right? Lower. 
could also, we could, I'd go a little bit lower, I'd need to be a little bit wider. Alright, it, it, I'd have to work on that. I'm leaning, I'm doing two things. I'm leaning forward too much, so there's too much weight toward my knees. It needs to be set back a bit more. And I, part of the reason I'm doing that is because of the injury that I have. So, not today. The other direction that we could go with this is smaller. So my movement is smaller and quieter, but it's still the same movement. Internally, I'm still doing the same thing. Got stuck on the cable down here. Fix that. <laughs> okay. Same exercise. Better with a chair that does not have arms, but this is the one I have, so here I am. Alright, so feet flat on the floor, right? Press down. Turn to the other side. Come back through center. And press down. This exercise works really well if you're seated. Again, better to have a chair that does not have arms, just a, a plain flat chair so that you, the arms don't get in the way as you turn. But this turning through the waist, we can make it bigger, we can make it smaller, we can work sitting down. There is a variation to this that can also be done lying down. If that was the person wanted to practice, you could. You could. Excuse me. The point that I'm getting at is the extent of our movement can vary by age, by choice. This is what I'm going to do today by circumstance. Yeah, I've got an injury, so I'm not doing that right now. By just, yeah, today this is what I feel like. Right? We can do that. <laughs> the key to all of it is practice. Is doing something. We're going to do a little more. New snake creeps down. Excuse me. Excuse me. Coiling snake, not not snake creeps down. Snake creeps down is from Wu Dong's three basic methods. Snake creeps down looks like this. We don't have that in our Qigong set, right? We don't. It's here. The and it does go all the way down. The <laughs> Qigong set that we have is also one of Wudong's three basic methods. We have a little variation in what we're doing, Qigong versus three methods. In our Qigong set, we're here. In our three methods, same idea, except at this point, I'm going to step out. Alright, that little bit of difference. We also have um, this coiling snake method in several of our other forms. It 
works the waist the same as shaking the tail feathers and it further opens the hip right because as we turn this turning leg needs to be loose in the hip my weights over here on this leg this leg is turning and I want it to turn I also want to keep enough space that I can go all the way down. The turning this this turning leg here can tuck in behind. That's where it needs to go. Uh, yeah. So as I as I go down. Back leg, turning leg back here, tucks in behind, here's my knee. You want this, you do. That's how you get down, that's, that's how you go all the way down. That knee has to tuck and there has to be enough space, both legs have to hold, so that as you turn you can freely move. More practice. All right. Um, coiling snake up, turn, come back to center. Not too low, but enough that we're going to feel it. <laughs> pull up through the back, pull up through the crown of the head. Relax the breath, relax the body. Breathe in and breathe out. Shift up onto the left leg, turn the right, sink, tuck the knee, and come on back to center. Turn the foot. Pay attention to the yung chuan, the bubbling well, and the ball of the foot. Pay attention to the lao in the center of the palm as you pull up and as you turn. Pay attention to the turning leg, keep it working. Don't let it go, don't just let it say, okay, I got it in the right place, I'm gonna let it go. Keep, keep it working. Breathe in and breathe out. Hold through the lower tantien. Open the level and turn. Up on the left and twist. Center. Up on the right and twist. And center. Two more. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Last time. Pay attention to lobo. Twist. And center. Twist, come back to center, hands down on both sides, pull up through the crown of the head, raise the heels and lower. Stay there, breathe in, breathe out. All right, we are going to do this one more time, one more time. As we pay attention to this twist and turn, the sink, twist down. Pay attention to both palms, open and twist. Pay attention to keeping the toes on the floor. So, ball of the foot stays on the floor, pull. As we pull up, pay attention to pulling up through 
a bar for you. Here, roll this up. Raise the hui yin at the base of the torso. Pull up. Sink through the legs, not over them. Okay? So as we sink, the legs are going down, right? It's if I'm on my legs, if I, I mean, how do I say this? As I think about sinking, everything moves lower altogether. It's not, let me bend my legs, right? This didn't, this didn't go anywhere. This was kind of disconnected. We don't want that. All of it together. So as the leg bends, it's as if it's pulling the rest of the body down. This push me, pull me. So pull up through the hui yin, pull up through the bai hui, pull this in, keep the back up. All of that is up. This one Wait, you pull all of that up, but then you got to sink down. Wait, 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 what's going on? That pull in and up gives us the ability to actively sink. I'm choosing which direction I'm going to go. I'm going down. I'm not going up, I'm going down. That difference matters. Pay attention to that connection as well. Coiling snake. Be a match with part. Take a breath, relax, and breathe in. Breathe out. Relax, and palms up. Breathe in. Breathe out. Sink. Breathe in. Pay attention to that connection. Whole body pull up and sink down. And smile. Breathe in. Breathe up. Breathe in. Breathe out. Relax the body, hold the body, turn through the hip. And pull in and twist. From the center. Up, pull in and twist. From the center. Breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. Relax through the whole body as you turn. The more you can relax, the more you use the muscles close to the bone, the easier it is to move. Two more. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Last time. Down on both sides, pull up through the crown of the head, raise the heels and lower. Stay there, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. Okay, this idea, this pulling in. 
so that you can more. Yeah, I don't know what the I don't I don't know what the right word is. <laughs> more effectively, I guess is a good way to say it. Use what you got. Okay. So as we if we think about it, your hand as you pull in your fist, right? I'm gonna I'm gonna take my hand. I'm gonna pull in my fist. I'm gonna use my fingers, and I want to grip something. So I'm gonna this is my shin punch here. I'm pulling my fingers in. That apparent simple action is not so simple. <laughs> All right? As we decide to close, muscles in the forearm adjust, right? <clears throat> we start to pull here, we start to let this go, this happens, that happens. There's a whole series of things that happens that most of us never pay attention to unless there's something wrong with your hand, some happened injury, something else happens, then we pay attention to it. We don't normally pay that much attention to it. As we pay attention to all of the other muscles and all of the other system, all the elbows, knees, wrists, joint, everything, that same facility that we have to do this with the hand is kind of what we're looking for. Now, granted, the hips will not do this. I, I, I know, hip will not do that. We know what the hip can do. And we want to work towards allowing it to do as much as possible of what it can do. Now, I qualified that. If you're three years old and I tell you to bend your knees, sit your butt on the floor, and stick your other leg out straight, you can do that. I, I, most three-year-olds can do that. It's not a big deal. It, it really isn't. Thirty-year-old, on the other hand, you want me to do what? depending on where that person is from. Because there are places on this planet that it would be common and it would be easy and it would be, okay, now what? It wouldn't be an issue. Getting to that position wouldn't be an issue. But, for me right now it is. Okay, So, it didn't used to be as much Partly I've gotten older, partly I've got an injury. This idea behind that how much, what extent do I have to move? What, what can I do? Here's what I could do. Me, I could, it's possible. Here's what I'm doing, okay. Here's what the movement gives me. And I can use whichever level I choose to use for this practice. That menu selection, if you will, gives us so much more depth and so much greater understanding of the art than trying to put it all into one and have it make sense. I, it's it's a process. It takes a little bit of practice. It takes a little bit more understanding, and it takes a little bit of feeling it. It I, I there, there's a there's a whole lot of things I was going to say there, but the 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 key really is that you feel it, that you pay attention to what you're doing that you pay attention to how you feel. Doesn't matter what you feel. How you feel, what, what, what I feel today. I feel the, yeah, my hips are a little this, and my tooth is, yeah, and I'm having this, and shoulders having it. Right? How do you feel today? Pay attention to it. Use that to help inform which kind of practice you're going to do today. I will be back next week 
with Shingy Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Thursday and Friday, Qigong again. I'm going to use this uh, idea that we're going to focus on a particular uh, set or a particular group of uh, points. The Lao in the center of the palm, the Yung Chuan in the base of the foot, the lower Tantian. As we pay attention to each of these during practice, we will naturally strengthen our own understanding of those points. Side effect, right? And we'll develop the skill that we're trying to develop, which is to start to direct the energy to and from those points. I have um, mentioned, uh, set up a forum if you're interested and you want to ask questions, post questions, um, have some conversations. I welcome anybody to send me, use the contact form on the website to send me a message with what you want for your screen name and your email address. I will give you access. Um, it's going to be public. Everybody can see what's there, but only people that are registered will be able to post anything. So let me know. Um, again, I welcome questions. I'm going to post some of my own questions as well as some things from the past as well as some things that I've, I've received through email. So I'm hoping that's going to help with your understanding of what I'm trying to present in many of these classes as well as uh, offering another medium. Okay, Written word versus spoken word. There's a difference in how we perceive that. There is. Thank you for being here today. I appreciate it. I'll be back next week.